Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to uh, set up the R4i SDHC for Nintendo DSi version 1.4.5 and below. Um, so to get this card, you're going to need to go to uh, nduscards.com. The link will be in the description below. And for this, you're going to need an 8GB or 4GB microSD chip or below or higher than 8GB. I'd prefer a 4GB or 8GB. I had an 8GB sitting around in my house, so I used that. So inside the box, you're going to get the R4i and the USB flash uh, drive that you would put the little chip into and then transfer all the games and files and stuff. Um, th this comes with it, so you don't need to pay extra for that. I got the R4i for about 11 bucks free shipping. It took about a month to get here because I ordered it on Christmas, so I'm not sure depending on when you guys will get it. So let's get into it. Now that we're at the computer, we're going to need to do a couple of stuff, and you're going to need to go into your web browser, search up jzip.com, or you can download WinRAR or Unzip, um, WinZip, or 7-Zip. Uh, I use jzip, which is a unzipping tool. Um, for the R4i or any other unzipping tool. Um, so yeah, so after doing that, you're going to need to download that. And then we're going to need to go into this website on the box, www.r4i-sdhc.com slash download. Um, this all will be in the description below, so if you want to do it, you can do it. Um, so you're going to need to scroll down. And look for this one right here, version 1.4.5 kernel download with or uh, without the mark. You don't really need the mark on it. If you do, great. If you don't, there's no big deal to do that. Um, make sure yours says Wi-Fi on it like mine does here. Um, okay, mine does not have the mark, but I guarantee it will work for you if you don't have the mark either. So download the English version or your choice of um, other languages. So and make sure it's the version 1.83b. After doing that, you can close out of your web browser and open up the zip file that you get with your unzipping tool. And then you're going to need to plug in your USB flash drive with the micro SD card in there. So after doing that, go into your file explorer, click on this PC, and then navigate to your removable disk. These are the files that you need. Um, these daemon, daemon, and ws, uh, wreset.sys, those are going to come in later when you actually put your R4i into the DSi. Um, you're going to need to set up your R4 uh micro SD card like this so drag these four files into here and then create a file listed I mean named as DS games and you can download DS games from emuparadise.com all the games um, are working perfectly fine with this R4 and all of the links to um, all the uh, things that you need to download is going to be in the description below so be sure to check that out and that's how you set up your R4i micro SD card chip. Um, let's go over to the DSi. Now that we're at the DSi, you're going to need to put in your micro SD chip into the R4i card and then put it into the DSi. After doing that, you're going to see this uh, game cartridge, um, depending on what kind of card you ordered. Uh, so I got this one. So let's click on that. Then you'll see r4i-sdhc.com loading. And then here is your games, version 1.83b. Wi-Fi wi engine, I haven't figured out how to work that. If you want to figure it out, you can. Just leave a comment below and uh, show me how to work it out. The middle is for all your media, like uh, that runs the homebrew moon shell. And then here is that where you can customize your configuration. Uh, language, sound off, sleep off, upgrade on, reset back. I like to upgrade via my computer, um, but to upgrade the card, you're going to need to do it from the DSi.
but the version I like to do it manually from the computer so I can get every file that I need and then skin you can change your skin and then upgrade is where you upgrade the card and uh, so yeah just click on your game and here's some games that uh, you downloaded uh, if you want to download it it works perfectly fine I'll even play a game for you guys so simply just press A uh, I forgot to tell you that to cheat in the games you're gonna need to press B um, yeah to cheat in the game you're gonna need to press B and then add all your cheats and everything and then you'll get like a list of things like game ROM cheats and then back or something and then you can do that as you can see it is working perfectly fine here all the games if you do want to go back to the R4i menu but you don't want to turn off your DSi all you have to do is hold all four of these buttons the L and the R all together and then it will go to uh, the R4i menu so that's how you set up the R4i thank you for watching if you have any questions leave it in the comments below like and subscribe as usual Follow me on Instagram at Pros Awesomeness. Um, that will be in the description too. And uh, also like our like and subscribe our videos on our new channel at AJ and Sunny. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Have a great day.